I mean, you're quite high up, aren't you? Yes. You've not got a very big um, field of view, you've got a lot of blind spots that um, you can't see. So when you're driving through town in tight gaps, you need a lot of help from your gunner, checking on your right hand side and your command as well, you as well, making sure that you're not going to get anything. And when, when you get pelted, I mean, you, you probably wouldn't, stones probably wouldn't penetrate. No, stones, um, stones you'll hear the bang um, on the metal, it makes a like a kind of a echoey tinging sound, um, but other than that, it doesn't really affect it. Across the windscreen, you've got um, plastic um, strips, so if anything hits them, it doesn't actually scratch or crack the metal. It just ruins the plastic. You just take them off and get another one put on there. So you feel quite safe in here? You don't feel um, threatened? It is pretty much one of the safest pieces of equipment we've got out here um, on tour. And, and how long are you often in here for? How long is the convoy? Um, it's not too bad because mainly it's a drive up to one of the other camps um, and then you can get out, stretch your legs before you have to move off again whilst you wait for your VIPs and then you'll, you get out quite a lot. Um, I think the most time we've spent in is about three hours probably. Yeah, it's quite cramped isn't it? How yeah. many of them sit in here? Oh, well there's the, free, there's the free crew, there's the driver, the gunner, the commander. And then with the VIPs, normally we'll get at most four. Normally it's about two or three because we spread them out through the vehicles. 